Hello everybody and welcome back to RimWorld Prison Empire. So in the last episode we dealt with, uh, well, really, it was mostly just a single siege up here, which uh, wasn't too bad overall. We do have to clean up all the bodies, stuff like that, but it shouldn't take too long. Uh, and we've been, obviously, we spent time fixing up the defenses. We're still going through trying to get all the embrasures and stuff fixed up. So it's going to take some time, not a huge deal. Uh, what I would like to do today is, uh, obviously, we do have quite a bit of prisoners that need to be processed through. Uh, most of it, you know, stealing organs and stuff like that. Uh, but we have a bit of a problem where we don't really have the uh, facilities to do so. So what the goal is today is to get the new medical center up and running in the mountain so we can steal all of the organs. And uh, I was thinking about the best way to do that because obviously we do have a bit of a complication with everything needing repairs and, you know, basically our uh, wardens are a little busy right now. So uh, I did realize that we obviously have prisoners that could be uh, getting the mountain dug out and stuff, uh, you know, in the meantime. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to open this up again to allow prisoners into the hallway. Uh, since that's slightly less of a concern than it was before, obviously there's still, you know, uh, extreme break, Spirilli. Oh, that's not an issue because Spirilli just got unbroken, so he got the catharsis. Uh, but we can get our prisoners, at least for now, digging out the spot in our mountain for this. Um, so we're going to want to do that first. And uh, the problem is that we might end up in a situation where we're taking people away from doing the more important things right now, which is defenses. Uh, we also need to get mortars and all that all up and running. There's so much to do, uh, preferably for the next attack. Uh, we do have beer, which is nice. And we have a raid shell. Oh, that raid shell is going to be super useful. Uh, currently we are going to make five. We only have the one. But, uh, that should continue being produced. Uh, Spirilli collapsed. Why are you so slow? Why do you seem super slow? You're not particularly slow. Uh, Mr. Spanks, what do you- Oh, you're viewing art. Okay, I thought you were stuck here for some reason, which would have been weird. Um, so what we're going to do is- It's going to sound weird, but I'm going to set up a zone. And I gotta remember I set this up, because if I don't remember it, I'm going to have an issue. Now, do we have a reason for that area one? Uh, I think I did that initially because we were using cleaning zones. But it wasn't necessary because the cleaning zones weren't working, so I got rid of the mod. Uh, so we can fix this up. Also, um, home zone. Yep, okay. I just wanted to make sure we did get this new area home zoned as well. Uh, new recording session. <laughs> so, got to do a couple checkups just in case. Okay, so what we can do is we could do... Uh, actually, instead of trying to clear area one, we can just uh, delete it and start a new one. Uh, and then what we're going to do with that is we can say area one is going to be... Uh, okay, so we're going to want to do this. We could do it right in here at the end of this hallway. So we could say this is area one right here. And then we're gonna go in and manage. Uh, we're gonna invert it, so that way it's everywhere except for that area. And then we're gonna tell all of our wardens, uh, and we're gonna need to go to restrict for that. Oh, you do not need to sleep at any particular time. I do not care. Uh, and we're gonna tell all of our wardens every one could go into area one, which is the entire map, except for that. So now they will do everything that they would normally do, but ignore everything I am setting up over here. And our prisoners are going to get that done instead. Uh, so we're going to need to get rid of this marble wall for one. And we are going to mine out. Oh boy, how big do we need this medical room to be? It depends on how many people we want to take at once is, the, I guess, the real thing. Um, so we can say... A good size. We could take a lot of prisoners real quick. Now, the problem with doing it way out here in the mountain, obviously, is that's a lot of walking when we take a lot of people. But it's also, <laughs> where else are we supposed to do it? <laughs> like, we could technically try to jam some in here. Like, there's not a lot of spots we got to work with that isn't pretty far into the base. Um, so, it'll be fine back here. So, we can have ourselves a walkway. Uh, what we could do is a room in here and a room off here and have that hallway go in. I think that might be a better option. Gives us more uh, future expansion. Uh, not that there's too much future left here. So let's have that come into here. And then we'll have a bit of a gap. That way we have buffer in case things go to hell. I, that way, you know, it also looks better when it's in the mountain and you leave some gaps between stuff so it doesn't look like it's, you know, not mountain. Uh, and then we could dig out... 
Okay, so a medical room. Uh, let's say we have our wall. And then, well, actually, we don't need to dig out that wall. So let's uh, cancel that just so we don't have to worry about digging it out. Um, so we have the wall that's going across. We got planning tools for this. So we got a wall. Uh, we can have, for one, a wall across here as well. Um, and then we're going to need two tiles for beds. And then two tiles for walkway. Then bed. Wall. Bed, walkway, bed, wall. So we're going to want to dig out that internal section. And then uh, lengthwise, we want... Uh, oh boy, we're probably going to want to do storage in here too for the organs as well. So we don't have to worry about them trying to bring them across the map. And we just need more storage room for how many organs are going to be there. Because remember from earlier when we uh, purged, when we had our initial purge, uh, we had a lot of organs. So we definitely need storage for that. So we probably should bring that... Uh, probably down pretty far. We could even do our storage for organs up in here because, yeah, there's going to be a lot. Well, we could start down here. If we need more room, we could do up there as well. Uh, but with the frequency of traders being quite a bit higher than it was before, we might be able to get rid of organs quick enough to not stockpile too bad. Um, so let's say we have ourselves a bed, walkway, bed, bed, walkway, bed, bed, walkway. Actually, no. Let's do... Yeah, bed, walk, uh, yeah, we could just do, uh, the bed, walkway, bed, bed, walkway, bed, bed, walkway, bed, bed, walkway, bed, and that could just be the end, and then that's where our wall goes. Uh, so we need to dig out, and we're gonna need a support in here too, but that's not a problem, because we're gonna dig out that section right in there, and then we have the one gap, and that comes in here. So that's going to be our medical system. And then we have a wall for supports. And uh, just so the beds have somewhere to back onto without it just being in the middle of nowhere. Uh, and then out here, once this is done, we'll dig out a storage area like that big for all of our organs. And that should work out. Uh, now we do also need a entrance into here. Uh, so we could have that right there and that right there. We can go and cancel these because I hate looking at them. So that should be pretty good. And we can also figure something out here. That way we could have a walkway in between the two zones as well. Okay, so that should be good. Uh, we have a major break. That's just Spirilli. That's a non-issue. Gabby, cleaning dirt. Uh, are you really not going to do anything else? Oh, yeah. No, never mind. Because you're uh, set for cleaning as a pretty high priority. Um, when did we get a meteorite there? I don't remember that being there. And it's definitely a meteorite. And it's somewhat recent. It had to have been recent. I have no idea where that came from. Well, I, I know where it came from. I don't know when it came from is the better thing. Uh, regardless, it's not a problem. We also do need to fix our defenses. Uh, now that we know that explosions do go through the embrasures, we need to split these so that if one turret blows, it doesn't blow the other up too. Uh, so we're going to want to rearrange that. I was also looking at uh, possibly utilizing in here a little bit. If we could find a reliable power source that's, you know, doesn't require a conduit going across this. Uh, it might be worth it sticking a few turrets in here. That way we have a bit more coverage and just more turrets in general. But uh, we are going to be buffing this up quite a bit. Uh, but for now, let's leave that. So uh, our trade report, that's not a lot of cash. Uh, and then prisoners, it is just the start of the day. So they should get to doing stuff pretty quick. Uh, we also do want to strip all of our uh, prisoners of clothing they shouldn't have. And it was recommended, and it was a genius thing that I did not think of. Uh, we could just do it from here. So it, can I just uh, remove them? Is there any easy way to remove them? No, I guess we just have to go like this. Oh, that's a pain. Is there really not a easier way to do this? Why does Spirilli have... N and Hiram, why do neither of you have any jobs set up? That is kind of weird. Um, okay, so haul, yes, yes. Uh, you could do finish off, yes. Handling, we don't have animals. Uh, hunting, don't need that. Construction, okay, what do we want Spirilli doing? We don't need you doing growing or anything. Uh, so construction would be the most logical thing. So you could do construction, 
then hauling, then cleaning, and then we can give you a two for all the crafting related stuff. And if you have nothing else to do, then you can assist with growing. But construction will get done. That's important. Uh, and then we have Hiram as well. Yeah, I have no idea why those reset. That's kind of weird. Uh, maybe I just never set them. <laughs> that's also a possibility. Uh, so we could do that. Uh, so you, obviously, warden and all that. It's more than fine. Negotiate. You don't need to do handling. Um, we don't need you cooking. You can't really do construction. So we'll get you doing hauling and then cleaning and if you could do crafting as number two you don't really need to be doing crafting because prisoners are doing a good job at it um i guess that's adequate and we'll set you as a construction for four just so if we have repair i guess you could do that afterwards uh, so i should be fine so the prisoners oh yeah the, the easiest way is still it seems like the easier way would be to go through the other option but Really, I think this doing it manually is going to be the best option. Uh, just because, we, you know, the way this works, we'd have to go, oh boy, like this, like that, like that. Clark, strip, next. Uh, numbers. Yeah, it's kind of a pain. Uh, Collins, you need to get stripped. Yeah, okay. I'll wait till we put them all in the room and then strip them. It's a temporary issue uh, because once we get them all set up in here, then we don't really need to worry about that. Uh, now, we do need someone to come and start this. Uh, you're repairing sandstone. Is there anyone nearby that can just destroy this? Uh, because obviously they're not going to do it automatically. Uh, Disease Jack, you want to come back? Don't do stripping yet. Can you come and remove that so the prisoners can start doing the uh, digging? And obviously we do need to remove all of the uh, mountain roof as well. Mobile restaurant, don't need to worry about that. Um, yeah, that'll be adequate. So people should come and start the mining. It's going to take a little bit for this to really kick forward because obviously we can only do two at a time. Oh yeah, that's allowed. Yeah. We also do need to get a chem fuel pump in here again as well uh, because obviously they are not auto-filling with the pipes, which I was told works, but apparently not. Uh, we also need to expand this. That way we get these corpses in. And right now, we need to also set this to do forever so we can process through. Uh, I need to go through, once we get this room all up and running, we start getting rid of the excess prisoners. I need to go through and reorganize stuff and figure out who's actually still here. Uh, our malaria. Uh, what's with you standing there? Are you stuck? Are you stuck? Uh, if you are, I can't do anything about it. There's two people here. So that's kind of weird. Just says... Oh, there you go. Resting. Uh, area, area revealed. Oh, no. Oh. Uh, that... Okay, we're going to change our size up a little. But yeah, that's not horrible. I'm not unhappy with that. <laughs> it saves us some mining. Because that's kind of the same general system that we are doing anyway. Uh, Rasan, what's your issue? It's probably looking at all the corpses, soaking wet, unsightly environment. Okay. So you should be fine. It's just, you're unhappy. Um, speaking of bionics being done here, um, okay, we don't need to really worry about that. So we got the malaria. So if you die, you die. I'm not too worried about that. So that should be fine. Um, we got to get rid of these prisoners because they're doing stuff. I'm not going to set up all their jobs and stuff because we don't need them doing any jobs. We just got to get them brought in. Um, okay, so we do also need to tidy this up now that it's a different size. Um, so we... Our old wall was like right here. So then we have this extra section in here. So let's dig that out. So then we're going to be one, two, walkway, walkway, one, two, walkway. No, sorry, wall. Yeah, we'll just dig that out and then reorganize. Uh, we also got to make sure bugs aren't spawning here. So we got to remove the roof zone as we go. Uh, so we need... Uh-oh. Oh, oh Kaz is dead. Okay, it's fine. I'm not worried about that because you are not anybody that we care about. Wow, we don't really care about anyone, period. <laughs> uh, but we need to remove that whole section for right now. And hopefully, it's done in a way that doesn't fuck shit up. Uh, Spirilli. 
Yeah, that's fine. Please do it smart. It's just you doing it. It's Anvil too. I really don't like when multiple people are doing that. Oh, you're only going to do it in there because you can't go in here. So that's fine. So then the prisoners can't. Oh, actually, you know what? The best way to do this would then be Amvel is now unrestricted. So Amvel is the only one that can come and remove the roof. So there's no fucking up. It's impossible to screw it up. Beautiful. All right. And then we can do an allow all. So the medical emergency, we do have more. Uh, is this malaria for everyone that's going? Uh, immunity. Oh, you're going to lose that. Very close, but you will lose that. Not worried about it. Um, and then we also have... You're going to be fine. So Zuko is going to end up dead. Uh, this is why I need to go through my list again and fix it all. Because uh, I don't know who's actually here anymore. Taking those prisoners was probably not the best idea when we didn't have the area set up for it. But it is what it is. Um, why are you sleeping outside? You're not a wild person. It's because we don't have enough prisoner beds for everyone. Again, they're all going to get their organs harvested. So it's not not really a concern or anything. But still. Um, okay, so we also want to mine out this whole back area as well. Uh, okay, Zuko is dead. That's fine. And then everyone's getting processed. Hide in room. Mr. Spanks shouldn't be an issue. Uh, once we get all these bodies processed, we should be a little bit happier overall. And we have clothing that's getting processed. These weapons are not supposed to be here. It's because they're still damaged and they need to be processed through. Uh, it probably would be worth it to get another mending bench up and running. Um, actually, you know what? We don't need these shelves. These shelves were planned to be used for the damaged stuff. But yeah, I really don't need it. So we could deconstruct those. And then we'll build a copy of this. Uh, let's reinstall that ID over to here. That should be fine. Uh, and then this can get a copy made right there. And then we're also going to want this to copy all bills. Okay. It I, For a second there, I was like, why is there five? We only have four different things you could do. But yeah, the mending kits as well. Uh, so then once that's built, we'll get that copied, and then it'll get done twice as quick. Uh, these IEDs also do need to get moved. Uh, textiles trader. Oh, wow, we have a bunch of IEDs. That's nice. Uh, so that means our five raid... Oh, why is the five raid shells not done? Uh, and is rage in here? No, they are not. Okay, so let's... Uh, Grab this, 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 and there should be rage and... Oh, we got shells all over the place. Beautiful. Uh, we'll get those all hauled urgently so they get brought to where they're supposed to be. Okay, that's good. Uh, calm down, 11. Good. Got that. Mr. Spanx, you're going to be fine. And here's getting dug out. Okay, so these need to be allowed. Uh, all these chunks can also get moved eventually whenever someone comes and do does it. Uh, the prisoners should do it without too much of an issue. Uh, and we can, uh, what, oh, for fuck's sake, can, okay, at minimum, we got to get rid of the cooks. I don't want to set all these people up that don't need to be set up, but we don't need shit cooks ruining our day. Uh, so you aren't cooking. Uh, you aren't cooking, you aren't cooking. It should just be uh, Dr. Talson. Uh, Dr. Talson right there. Yes. Dr. Talson and we have Disease Yak also doing cooking. The rest of you, don't touch this shit because you're terrible and making people sick and that's just going to make nightmares for us. Uh, okay, and then we can also go back over to here. Expand no roof zone. Get rid of the mountain roof. Make sure we keep this area safe from bugs because I hate bugs more than anything else. Alright, and that digging is going pretty well. Please no collapses. Please no collapses. I know that they're stupid sometimes. There's a collapse. No one died though, so that's fine. Uh, can you please do it in a safe way? I know I can sit here and do it all manually. It's I shouldn't have to is the thing. <laughs> it's not necessary. It shouldn't be necessary rather. Uh, and then this is all in the area one zone, so uh, Amvel's the only one that's going to be able to do it. Uh, we can also do an allow all because we are getting some concrete, uh, not concrete, steel here. Uh, and then can't, why would you do one and then give up? It's fine, but still. Uh, ooh, we made some good money there off of uh, mostly clothing. 
Okay, so we don't need any of those. Um, okay, so did uh, everything here get dealt with? Yes. Okay, and then that's going to want to come in. That's basically destroyed. I doubt that's going to get picked up before it loses its last health. Uh, we're going to need new shells. So all of these. Uh, just make sure these are all set to manual. Uh, because they are new ones here too. Uh, and then we're going to want to get some more sleepy shells. Um, do we want to do just sleepy shells? Because really, the best way to go would be to pick these up and use them for the like, inside base. You know, we'll just move them in there and then have killing shells outside. Uh, because if we have the sleepy shells outside, then obviously that's only going to really be effective at putting people down but not killing them. Um, and if we want people, we basically are just going to shell them with the sleepy shells. That way we have more control over it. Uh, so let's leave these here for now. So what are these other shells we got? We got the fear shells. Um, and what we really want outside more than anything is probably toxic, corrosive, and rage. Well, the rage I'd rather have control over as well. Uh, because we don't have many of them. Uh, but we could do corrosive shells outside. Because that's basically just, you know, it destroys everything. Uh, so let's grab these and we'll... I don't really want to uninstall them because they'll end up in storage. I'll forget. Ah, fuck it. We'll uninstall them. Uh, and then we can build ourselves security for the acid traps, which is corrosive. And we'll just kind of scatter them all over. Give us coverage of anywhere that enemies could be. And then they do come around here if they're smart raiders. So we'll have that come around. We got a medicine out here for whatever reason. Um, now, we got to be careful. We do not want these near the front. Because they do eat through everything that's in their area. Um, so we can go up to here at best. And I do know that these will also destroy and trigger other shells. So we can't use these in combination with other shells. Uh, the other, like, toxic shells we could use with raid shells and stuff like that. The corrosive shells you just can't use with anything else. Uh, so we'll just do that up to there. That should give us some pretty good coverage. Uh, we are going to get some shells up here too. Uh, and that would be best. Obviously not corrosive because that's going to eat through our walls. Uh, so we'd probably be best with the toxic or rage. Uh, I'll go with toxic for the sake of killing them. Without worrying about them trying to kill each other. Because that might take a little bit longer. Uh, so yeah, we could just drop a few shells off in here. So that will have coverage over this area. And we don't want to touch up here because it sure does seem like uh, the more area we cover, the more drop-in raids we end up getting. Obviously, we don't want more drop-in raids. We're a little bit better covered now, but we still don't want them. Uh, and then in here is getting done. Okay, so then we also need that, that, and that to get mined. And we do have... Compact steel here. How big? Uh, I don't really want to dig all that out. So let's cancel that. Okay, and you guys are almost done. Uh, so we can remove the thick mountain roof over here as well. Cargo. Ooh, cargo. I wonder what uh, what Randy... I guess Cassandra is trying to give us. Because we don't have Randy. Oh, it's Hyperweave. Not that it's super useful. Um, Stellar Miner. Do we need anything from them? I don't think so. No, 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 no. For fuck's sake, why are we collapsing? Amvel, why? You're the only one that's doing this. You're not the only one that's doing it. Why are they able to remove it? Okay, well, we lost a prisoner. It's fine. It's one of those stupid things. I, I fucking hate removing roofs so much. <laughs> it's such a nightmare. Uh, and then what are you guys doing now? You're just standing? You ran out of stuff to do? Uh, let's go ahead and mine that out. Okay, so do we have... That can get removed. Uh, we'll just do in here for redundancy's sake. Uh, then we're going to want walls in. So then this can come out to the end of the hallway. Come around here. Um, we're going to reorganize this. Because obviously this isn't going to measure out properly anymore. Based on the initial plans. That's fine. So we could have that come in like that. Um, so we're going to want to redirect this in a way. So we have bed, bed, walkway, sad wander. What the hell was your problem? It's the corpses. I was, well, it's the corpses that did the final one. 
Are there still corpses up here? There's a couple. Can you uh, at least wander back to base? You're on your way, but I'm kind of afraid of the next attack. Um, although you should be okay in the grand scheme of things. Uh, we also can just leave that open until we figure this out. Um, so, we also can say haul on those. Make sure those get moved. Uh, or sand, trade report. Don't need to worry about that, 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 or that. Um, and I guess we don't need this anymore. Because that was just to support the roof that no longer exists. So that's good. Uh, okay, so, in here, we got... Uh, okay, that's fine. Uh, bed, bed, walkway, walkway, bed, bed, wall. Bed, bed, walkway, walkway, bed, bed. And we have two extra tiles, is what we gained. Um, do we want... Two medical rooms with a walkway in between. That way, if we end up with a prison break, it will be split. Instead of being one giant room, it'll be two. Um, if we do that, we are going to need one tile of extra space, right? Because that'd be uh, bed, bed, walkway, walkway, bed, bed, wall, bed, bed. Uh, no, wall. There as well. Then we have the two-way walk, uh, the two-wide walkway. It goes down the center towards storage. Then we have bed, bed, walkway, walkway, bed, bed than right here instead. So then we want to cancel uh, just that section. Uh, that can still stay here, although we don't really need that going across here, but we'll keep it anyway for the sake of consistency. Uh, and then we want to mine out that as well. So that should be good. Uh, we can also set up our remove roof zone. We won't be able to do that. Actually, we don't really need it because it's just going to be uh, overhead mountain on that wall, which is not really an issue. Uh, so that should be good. And we can go like that again, get that hauled out. Um, so then we know that that is going to be continuing here. Do we have marble? Yes, but it would probably be more logical to do... Well, we got everything else in marble over here. I do like consistency, but at the same time, that's a lot of marble we're going to need for all those walls. So that's five each. So we could do up to 300. Well, that's not too bad. If that's 80 right there, we should be all right. Yeah, that'll be fine. Uh, so then this is going to be coming up that way and that way. Then we want to cancel that, cancel that. Uh, then that needs to come down this way. And then that's going to go into a big storage chunk right in here. That should be fine. Uh, and then we're also going to need doors into here as well. Uh, so we're going to have two different doors. Uh, also, uh, lengthwise, how this measure out. So we have... Well, it doesn't really matter. We could change up how it is. But I would like to do a... Yeah, bed, space, bed, space, bed, space, bed, space, bed, space, bed, space, bed, space bed so that measures out right um, but it would be nice to also have a walkway across here into this area as well so we go something like that cancel that cancel that and that and that and that uh, we don't need that there that way we have you know entrance from that way and a shorter entrance from here into there that way you don't have to go all the way around so and that gives us our two medical rooms so it's going to be uh, one two three four five six space so i'd be six 12 uh 24 total extra beds and we could compact it more we'll see but even being able to process through 24 at a time is more than enough because 24 at a time ends up being like 200 organs <laughs> uh because there's definitely more than 10 organs per person uh, obviously i'm not going to sit here and try to count how many organs per person we got going on but uh there, there's quite a bit so we should be okay we have berserk link um you're just going to attack anyone you see. That should be a non-issue. Uh, it might be a bit of an issue. Let's, uh, Disease Yak, you want to come up and deal with that, please? For safety purposes. We had Hiram right there, too. We should have done instead. That's fine. We'll get you processed. At least we didn't get attacked today. So that's nice. Uh, can you come and do a capture, please? Uh, Anvil has been successfully calmed down. Good. Anvil, I need you to get your ship together because you are our most effective person in the world. Oh, not that fast, please. Uh, and we need treatment for... Hey, treatment for Anvil? What the hell do you need treatment for? 
Oh, sorry, sorry. It said tolerance needs treatment, and then when I hovered over it for a split second, it switched to minor break, and then I seen those two names. I'm like, why are you guys injured? But yeah, that makes sense. Um, oh, this also needs to, now that it's finally built, uh, copy, and then we'll link it. That way they're linked, and that's good to go. I don't like these triples being here, but they have to be processed. It'll get done. It'll get done. Um... Okay, and then that's all good. This is going to take a little bit. Uh, so we can now, since everything else is done, uh, everyone is going to be back. Oh boy, we want... Oops, restrict. Uh, everyone back to unrestricted so they could all come in here. Because I don't think there's a whole lot more for them to do. Uh, did we ever finish... Yes, we did finish our adrenaline ribs. Uh, we don't have a bunch of unfinished ones anywhere. No. All right. Okay, so that's getting done. Okay, so we need doors in here too. So obviously we're going to want ourselves uh, plasteel auto doors uh, because security. Uh, so we can just grab that and we're going to want that right in the middle, right in the middle. Same thing over here, same thing over here. Uh, textiles trader and we also need to dig... Whoa, that was a screw up there. Uh, we also need to dig out the rest of this walkway. So that's good. Berserk, Kerbalize, that's fine. Um, Gabby, you're on your way. You're going to see that and then deal with it. Thank you. Come at least so the door doesn't close on you constantly. That's fine. We're good. All right, so that's then done. Is uh, these shells done? No. Can we also get these hauled urgently? Whoa, 14? 14? Did I... Oh, don't tell me I picked up all the ones across the map. No. Then what for... Oh, it's, uh... It didn't... Hi okay, that makes sense. It highlighted all of the... Uh... Unplayed building items. So that makes sense why there's 14. Uh, and we don't have storage for those. Oh, boy. That's full. What are these? Adrenaline ribs. Um, so the adrenaline ribs are supposed to be in here. So what we can do is hull urgently which should be yeah you guys go and pick all those up saves us 14 tiles of space and then more stuff will get brought in uh, and then we can also say those yep yeah, they're all hull urgently so those should also come in uh the shells also need to get hull urgently weapon uh, yeah we just need a lot of stuff that needs uh what we could also do to help save time instead of having to walk around that way we could add a door into here no because we shouldn't have any weapons in here, period. Uh, what we do need to do is find a way to get rid of them. So, our best bet probably just to sell them. Um, it was planned to... It was planned to smelt them down because selling them has almost no value because you only get 20%. Uh, plus all the other negatives from trying to sell. Oh, we also get some human leather here, too. Uh... But we're not going to end up smelting them at all. So we may as well just sell them, get rid of them. Uh, so we can set up an auto seller for create rule. That is going to be sell. And we don't really need any weapons sitting around. So we could say just sell one over. Uh, and then we're going to want to do a filter for our items. Items. Whoops. We want that on. And we're going to need two different things here. We need our category. And this is going to be a nightmare to set up. So I'll probably set it up off camera. Uh, so right now we are already smelting melee weapons. So what we need to do... Is essentially... I got to go through... Uh, what we could do... No, we could... I, shit. I was going to say, what we could do is set it up so it is any ranged weapon... And then I could set it, a stockpile up without a trade beacon for the weapons we do want to keep. But the problem is we will also auto sell to visitors and stuff. Which will then end up buying those weapons. That are in spots that are not supposed to be sold. And caravans as well. So that's not going to work. So I got to go through and select all of these manually. And leave out the ones that I do want to keep. Which, uh... For the most part, I guess would just be the taser for one. 
and our explosive rockets and stuff for the other. Uh, most other stuff, not too concerned about. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, is this going to take a while? It's going to take a while. Okay, well, either way, we can uh, go ahead and end it off here. So next episode, we're going to get that medical room finished up. Uh, which shouldn't really be that much of an issue. I don't think so anyway. Uh, yeah, we don't need these. Um, so I'll get all this done. Uh, the medical room will get finished up and then hopefully we'll have our floors and stuff in. That way we can very soon get rid of all of the uh, extra prisoners that we don't need. Um, and then we'll go through and see the list and work with that. So that's a rocket launch. We want to keep that. Uh, but yeah, so either way, that is going to be it for today. So thank you everybody for watching and I hope you all have a great day. See ya.